Setting up SAML single sign-on for your health center with one login. Go to zoho.com slash test. And sign in with your administrator account. Click on the setup icon in the top right and select Help Center from under Channels. Select the Help Center you want to enable SSO for and select User Authentication from the left panel. This is the Zoho Desk SAML page. Here you'll find the metadata that you must exchange with one login. In a new tab, open one login and log into your account. Select Applications from the top bar. In the Applications page, click on the Add App button in the top right. In the Find Apps page, search for SAML Test Connector and select it. You'll be taken to the Configuration tab. Rename your app and click Save. Now, additional tabs will appear and you'll land on the Info tab. Click the Configuration tab. This is where you'll have to paste the URLs from Zoho Desk. Copy the value of default relay state in Zoho Desk and paste it in the default relay state field in one login. Copy the Help Center SAML response URL from Zoho Desk and paste it in the recipient, ACS URL validator, and ACS consumer URL fields in one login. Once done, click Save. Click the SSO tab and do the following. Copy the SAML 2.0 endpoint and paste it in the remote login and reset password URL fields of Zoho Desk. Copy the SLO endpoint and paste it into the remote logout URL field of the Zoho Desk SAML page. Come back to one login. In the X.509 certificate field, click View Details. This will take you to the Certificate Details page. Download the certificate and save it as a text file. Upload this file in the Public Key field of Zoho Desk. Click Save. Now. You must select users you wish to give access to the SAML Enable Help Center. In the One Login page, select users from the top navigation bar. In the Users page, click More Actions and choose Approve All Users from the drop-down. This will add the app to individual user accounts. Back at Zoho Desk, head over to the Access Settings page ensure that customers can sign up for the Help Center is toggled on. This will allow customers to sign in for the first time using their One Login accounts. The SAML single sign-on configuration is complete. Now let's check if it works in your Help Center. Click on the Help Center URL. Sign in with the One Login account. There you go, your SSO-enabled help center is ready.